In this video, I'm showing you how to add captions on Instagram Reel, and I'm showing you two different methods. If you're new to the video, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like, and let's jump straight into this guide. I'll explain two different ways of how you can go and add captions or subtitles to your Reels, one using Instagram, and the second one is using a different free app. So let's get right into this. So firstly, I'll show you how to do it in Instagram. Let's go and swipe across like so, and then we'll go and tap on Reel. Then I'm gonna go and quickly record a video just like this. We'll make it a few seconds long just so we can go and get some subtitles just like that. And there we go. Then once you've gone and recorded that video or you finish all recording all the clips, go and tap on next in the bottom right like so. So then to go and add the captions, what you need to do is go to the top of Instagram and go and tap on the sticker logo. It's got like a smiley face sort of peeling back. Tap on that there. Then as you can see, we've got this option for captions. So then you can go and tap on that there, but you may need to scroll down or even search for it as well. If you go and tap on captions, it's going to take a moment to go and transcribe the audio and figure out what you're saying. But it's important to note that you may just see this and think, I don't like this. But at the bottom, there are four different styles of text you can go and use. So we can go and tap along and see which you like the best. As you can see, we've got these two and then you've got these different ones. So you can see less of the text and then there's this one as well. And then at the top, you can also go and add a background to the text and you can go and change the color of it as well. Uh, so you can go and configure it exactly how you like. So personally, I want it just black and white, just like so. And then I'm going to go and adjust it. And and then you can add anything else you'd like to the video and then you can go and tap next and go and post it onto Instagram. However, if you don't like using the Instagram captions, then let's go and get into the second method. So with this second method, we're actually going to use a different video editing app and this app is called CapCut. So let me go and search for it just to show you guys what it looks like. It's completely free as well. So go and search CapCut and here it is CapCut Video Editor. So go and download it and then go and open it up. Then what you need to do is go and tap on new project like so. And then you need to go and select the videos you'd like to go and edit or in our case, we're going to go and add captions and subtitles too. So make sure you've already recorded it in the photo or, you know, photo app, whatever app you're using. And then you can go and add it into CapCut. So I'm going to go and add this video here. So select it and then press add in the bottom right and it's then going to import it. But to go and add captions, make sure you haven't selected anything. So if you select the video, go and press this back button in the bottom left and then go and tap on text in the boss navigation bar. Then what you need to do is go and tap on auto captions just like so. And now we can go and actually go and create this. So make sure you keep watching because I'm going to show you how to edit them and customize them and all sorts. So all you want to do is make sure you have original sound turn on and then just go and press start like so. And now it's going and creating the auto captions. The longer the video, the longer this will take because it has to transcribe more text. And here we are, it's now finished. So if I go and click play, as you can see, the subtitles then begin appearing on the screen and it looks really, really cool. But you probably want to go and customize these because at the moment it looks quite basic. So what you need to do is go and tap on one of the captions like so. And once you've selected it, what's really important is you go to the bottom left and tap on batch edit. This means that when we go and edit one of the caption, it's going to apply the effects to all the others. For example, font changes, uh, strokes, drop shadows, all that type of stuff. So tap batch edit like so. Then go and tap on select on the left hand side like so and press select all like that. And then you want to go and press on edit in the bottom right like this. And here we are. So now you can go and choose the font you'd like to go and use. So there are so many to go and look at. The font I'm going to use is classic. So I'll tap on classic just like so. Then once you've chosen your font, you can go and press on style. And in style is where we can really go and customize things. So firstly, you can go and choose an effect at the top with these different sort of T examples. But what you want to do is come down to the second row and we've got text, stroke, canvas, shadow, spacing, bold italic, a lot of options. So if you want to go and add a stroke, go and tap on stroke like so. Let me just go and adjust this a bit so I can see the text. So you could go and add a black stroke, for example. And as you can see, it then adds a black outline however I prefer to add a drop shadow so you've also got a canvas option as well but I'm going to go straight to shadow so with a shadow we can go and select the black shadow for example and then as you can see it goes and adds that effect and you can go and lower the opacity if you like if it's too bright for you or increase it depending on what you want and you can increase the blur which sort of expands the amount of blur it does which is quite cool then I'm going to go and tap on effects and here you can go and add more effects. Animation is quite cool. For example, we could have a pop up like that. And by default, the in transition will be used. So go and select out and then you can go and choose an outro uh, for the text. So in that case, I can fade out. Then once you're happy with it, you can go and press on the tick and there we go. Then you press tick again and it's going to save it. And then we can go and start playing it. And as you can see, we can then go and look at it and you can go and increase the size of it by pinching it like that as well. And you can go and do that for each one. Each one's going to be different sizes. So it's doing it. It's worth doing it for each one of them. And what I recommend doing is just watching it back and making sure that everything has been pronounced correctly and that the, um, it's been detected correctly. Otherwise, you can go and edit it. If it's wrong, so tap on it. Then tap inside of the white box like so. And then as you can see, we can then go and edit what it says. I could add an exclamation 
exclamation mark, something like that. And then to save it and to go and export it to your camera roll, go and press on the upwards arrow in the top right like so. And then it's gonna go and say exporting and it's gonna save it to your camera roll. And then what we can do is go and open up Instagram and swipe across again and make sure reel is selected and then tap on the plus button in the bottom left. And then we can go and select the video that we just exported from CapCut here. As you can see, here it is. And then we can go and press add and we can then go and post it onto our Instagram story. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.